Hello and welcome. My name is Mwangala Chakalashi Santos. We're back again on the show where we bring you stories that are meant to leave a lasting and positive impact on your lives. Now, society, particularly women, have asked, what is it that men look for in women? Why would a man go and have so many women? What is it that they're looking for? My guest on the show today is Mr. Rimos Kazoka. Mr. Kazoka married two wives and had more than 50 extramarital affairs in a space of three years. Mr. Kazoka, welcome to the show. Thank you so very much. I'm so happy to see you. I'm happy too. I like the attire. Oh, thank this you. This defines who you are, an African oh. man. Oh, wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> now, before we talk about the journey that you embarked, where mm -hmm. you know you had two wives living mm -hmm. in one home and more than 50 extramarital affairs, that's mm -hmm. more than 50 girlfriends. Oh, yeah. Tell me a little bit more about who Mr. Rimos Kazoka is. Okay. Hello, viewers. Uh, Kazoka himself. A man who was born uh, in 1977 mm -hmm. uh, in a place called uh, Shanzala village in Shibuyunji okay. district. Mm -hmm. Yeah, started school in 1986. Nishaba Senju School, a place called Shimatete, yeah. Kawere village. Then I moved to Shibuyunji Primary School from grade 3 up to grade 7. Uh -huh. Thereafter, I was moved to Rusaka by my uncle, where I stayed with him for some time. Yeah. And then the list happened. Wow. Yeah. And then, boom, Mr. Kazoka is married with two. Tell me that journey. I mean, I'm so itching to yeah. find out how yeah. you found yourself with two wives mm -hmm. and many other girlfriends. It was a time when I was struggling to become myself. Yeah. Then this woman who came to me, in fact, she proposed. The woman proposed? Yeah, the, to you. the, the, the mother of my first child. Uh -huh. you no, know, I really love you because of the way you do things. Then I actually tried to excuse myself to say that at this particular moment, I do not have the capacity to keep the women. You mm -hmm. know, you women need a lot of care. Mm -hmm. And you know, I can't even take care of myself. So how can I take care of you? Give me space. So I struggled with her for some time. Thereafter, I switched into a church issue. Mm -hmm. uh, it came a time after having a festival with her. Uh, we separated. Mm -hmm. Then I went, switched into this woman whom I really loved. The first one, I never loved her, but the second one, you I loved her. You never loved her, so but yes. you stayed with her? Yes. Were you married? No, just that. Just you, staying you know, together, yeah, cohabiting? Just staying together, cohabiting, and you had a child and together. The child mm -hmm. yeah, with her. Thereafter, after it ended, I switched into this other one whom I loved. Yeah. And unfortunately, she never loved me. Mm -hmm. And uh, we struggled for 11 years, and I had four kids with her. So you stayed with a woman who mm. never loved you yes. for 11. How did you know that she didn't love you? Uh, she was very honest. OK. Yeah, because if, you know, during the time when we were getting married, she even told me she that you are just forcing me to go into this, yeah. which I do not want. Yeah, and we used to go to church together. I was a, I ordained as a deacon with her. Mm -hmm. And then she just decided to say that I've stopped going to church because we're not the man of my choice. Mm -hmm. Then we brought counselors, the relatives from all both parties. They could sit us down, but it could not work still. Mm -hmm. Up until they just said, no, no, it's over to you. You can decide what to do. You people, you can decide if you want to get divorced, you know what to do. Thereafter, she put an effort to say that she should take me back to my people so that I relocate to the band that I love. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's where I, how I took her back. Then I also advised that, you know, I know you women with children, uh, you struggle a lot because I reflect my background. Yeah. I never grew up with my mom. I grew up with my grandmother. Mm -hmm. Why did my mom decide to leave me behind? It's because of the same, this issue of relocated. Mm -hmm. You know, a, ma a woman with a child, it's very difficult to find a man. So she decided to leave me with my grandma. So then I also remembered. I said, ah, oh, this is the challenge my mom went through. Yeah. So I sympathized. I said, leave the children with me. So she left the children with me. I struggled. By then, I employed about uh, three maids. Yeah. One living in maid. The other two were just coming to come out with the machine. Thereafter, that's when, because of that anger in me, mm -hmm. because I loved the woman, then the woman went away. Then I said, okay, what I will do, I'm not marry. It is like women. Mm -hmm. You lost confidence yeah, 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 in women. I lost confidence in women. Mm -hmm. so I said, what I'll be doing is I just to pray to be praying with women. Yeah. Whenever I find one, I do whatever, whatever I want to do. I do the, I pay, I go, I go to another one. 
So that's how now I switched into that. Mm -hmm. Now, unfortunately, part of that hated me a lot. Uh, divorcing is not a good thing because it disturbs the minds of the children. Mm -hmm. uh, my, first, my second born child, the girl, she was actually defiled by the age of eight years. And in I your loved, home? Yes. Uh -huh. And I loved her so very much, you know, it disturbed me a lot. Yeah. Thereafter, I tried to put myself together. Now, out of those women that I used to go out with, mm -hmm. one of them, she advises that, for how long are you going to be doing this? I said, as long as I live. Yeah. I said, ah, no, it's not a good way. You have got the children. She spoke sense. Uh -huh. So then I thought she was as sensible as she spoke. And yet there was a lot of prudence behind whatever she was saying. Yeah. So then, oh, like I said, then I decided, no, what, how are you going to live? She said, no, I don't have where to stay. I said, okay, go look for a house. I'll pay for you. That's how she found the house. I paid, I even bought everything for her. We started staying now. And also, she even advised me she to shift from Nuka somewhere else to stay mm -hmm. to come to Challenge. That's how I shifted. She pleaded with me, can I be with you? And I said, no, you cannot be with me because um, you are not ready. And you know, I still have a lot of women. Yeah. And the situation whereby, uh, if I, have, I, am, I am with this woman, mm -hmm. another woman will call, I'll still pick the call and say, oh, one of your friends. Okay. I even speak without fear because I had made the decision to do that. So no one could stop me from doing it. So when you say women, mm -hmm. what are we looking at here? Mm -hmm. What are the numbers like? And would you tell these women that I have another woman? Mm -hmm. Or would you actually say you're the only one? Uh -uh, no, mm. if you have decided to do something, which you know that you, are, you may do it for a period of time, yeah. you don't hide from yourself. Yeah. Be honest even to people around you. Mm -hmm. You come across a woman, be honest with that. I'm in, in the business of doing this. So if you can cooperate, please. So can jump in. what influenced you to make that decision to be, for lack of a better term, let's, mm. let's say womanizing, because that's mm. what you were doing, oh, right? Yeah, yeah, so what influenced you to make that decision of becoming a womanizer? Uh, what I thought was I never wanted to have a woman of my own. I just wanted to, like, uh, just having an affair with a woman, uh -huh. I do my business, I finish, there, it finishes. I don't want to stay with a woman anymore because okay. I, it seems like women have problems. I don't want to be a woman in and near me for a longer period of time. So women mm. are a problem, but you still wanted to have a, a relationship. So uh, they always, was it a one night? The others, the better term is that uh, it appears to me that uh, women are difficult. Mm -hmm. They are difficult to understand. So now it's better you meet. You know, it's the situation whereby you meet with a woman here, you will chat, you will laugh, but with your woman inside the house, it's difficult uh -huh. to do that. So then I said, so it's better to have someone outside than keeping one inside, yeah. where you can't chat. She's not even your friend. She's your enemy. She can call you anything. So then I said, it is better to have one outside where you can communicate uh -huh. than having one inside the house who seems to be your enemy. So I don't want to keep an enemy inside the house. So that is why you decided yes, to have so many just having them there. where you can love, having a lot of friends. You know, it was funny to me. And I used to enjoy it because whenever you meet, it's just chatting, laughing, mm -hmm. praying together, and do whatever you want to do. Then you close the day. Okay. Mm. So despite your lack of belief in women, you still mm. went ahead and married two women mm -hmm. who were living in one house. Can yeah. you share that story? What happened was, this very woman who advised me that I must settle, she came into my life and uh, then she said that I know what you're going to do, that I want to be living with you. I said, uh, from, from the look of things, you are not capable of keeping the number of the children mm -hmm. because you don't have a child. And I grew up in a home where we call stepmother, stepchildren. Mm -hmm. It does not work. Not only from women's side, even from men's side, it's difficult. Yeah. It's not something easy. Yeah, it's yeah. hard to do. Mm -hmm. So then I said, since I saw it to be hard, and I, I can't even allow you to do that, because it will be a temptation to your side. So just to find your fellow man who is not married, who does not have a child from anywhere, so that you can start a family together. Then she even testified, you know, I grew up in a place like this, I has actually been keeping children, what and what. I said, if you want to push yourself into this, then come and stay with me. But it, it, just remember that you, any good thing that you can do, don't do it to me, do it to the children. You do it to the children, you make me happy. Did you love her? Yes, I did. I, in fact, I really, women are good people, I love women. Yeah, because there's that kind of innocence in them. Mm -hmm. And it just shows up when they are provoked. So is that mm -hmm. why you were taking advantage of them? 
No, it was a decision made. Okay. It wasn't an advantage. Uh -huh. I just decided to do that. That you're going to use, not even not use, using, to sleep as, as many as possible. Having as many as possible friend women. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay, so mm. the two women, you've talked about the other one who you thought spoke mm. sense and you decided to live with her. And the other one? So what happened was after she begged, she said that, he, can you please give me a child? I want a child. I said, you are still under assessment. Mm -hmm. I'm not ready to give you a child. Mm -hmm. You know, I've been having children everywhere. So I must hold on to doing, from doing that. So she said, no, you know, I'm the only one. My mother died, what and what, you know. Mm -hmm. Then I sympathized with her. Then I allowed myself to pregnant her. Okay, so you yeah. actually impregnated her out of sympathy? Yeah, out of sympathy. You mm -hmm. know, some people say, Jufundo, you know, yeah. <laughs> So because of Jufundo, uh -huh. I found myself doing that. Wow. Yeah. Then after six months down the line, mm -hmm. she just woke up one morning and said, ah, these children are too many. I can't take care of them. I said, wow. And how many were they? There were six by then. Okay. I said, wow. Do you remember our agreement? Mm -hmm. She said, yes. I said that you are supposed to partner with my children with me. So if you cannot partner with my children, then there's no deal here. So now, since you are talking of going, where are you going to go with your pregnancy? And you are also carrying my child there. Don't you think that the, the child will, will be one of these that are suffering, that are being brought up without their mother? I, it doesn't matter. It's just one child. It's not a problem for me to take. I said, you yourself, you are unable to take care of yourself. How can you be able to take care of the, of the child? Mm. So she just spoke like one who does not care. I asked her three times, different days. She still emphasized to say that, that that's what I, I have decided. I said, you're fine. So when are you leaving? So that I find another woman. Mm. Uh, when I am, when my pregnancy will be eight months old, I said, okay, fine. So three weeks down the line, I came across another woman. And one advisor advised me to say that at this time, get someone with a child. I think she can be able to cooperate. And I never liked the idea of marrying a woman with a child. You just wanted to have a woman without, without, a without child. any children. Now, I want you to hold that thought. When we come back, we take a short break. When we come back, you take us through now how you were able to come out of it. Because I know that that is a life that you lived for three years. Mm -hmm and you came out of it, and oh, now yes. you're advising or teaching other men that that is not a solution. Mm, mm, mm. So if you're joining us now, I am talking to Mr. Remos Kazoka, who had two wives and more than 50 girlfriends, and today he's a changed man. So don't go away, join us after the short break. To advertise on this program and enjoy amazing introductory rates, please call us on plus 260-211-290959 or plus 260-211-290912 or plus 260-953-538-000. Or send us an email at loyolazam at gmail.com. Thank you for joining us. I'm talking to Mr. Remorse Kazoka, and we're sharing his story on his journey for a number of women that he had in his life. Mm. Now, I know that you've told me that in a day you'd actually sleep with four women. Oh, yeah. How was that possible? I, you program. You program. Yeah, you just have to make a program mm -hmm. from this time to this time. From this so time. how was your program like? Yeah, you know, when you've de dedicated yourself in doing something, yeah. you throw the all out of you yeah. into it. Mm -hmm. So you make sure that you fulfill your plans mm -hmm. and you fulfill everything that you've set. So I had divided time. the time. Yeah. yeah. Mm. So, so what time would you start? Uh, being in construction, mm -hmm. uh, you know, when I uh, take my men for work, men, my men are busy working. Yeah. Me, I'm busy doing what I know is the, the best. women. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Okay. So mm. what do you think led you to that? Because I'm looking at it and I'm thinking that must be a sickness. That is um, not normal. Yeah. Sometimes yeah. it might not be something which is normal. Mm -hmm. uh, we are pushed into things because of the things that are comes our way. Okay. And uh, for the lack of better way of doing them, we ending up jumping into things that are even dangerous to ourselves. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you by that time they might not appear to be danger, 
but there are dangers to your own life, even to your resources. You know, I've been, I've been spending money. Mm-hmm. Money that, you, you know, I, I can't even count how much money I've spent during that period. So during that period, mm-hmm. all your money was going towards Women, extra? Whatever money I make, mm-hmm. that one, he, she requested for this much. And you would give? This one for that much. Mm-hmm. This one for that much. On and on. And the good part of me that I used to advise them to go back to school. Did you finish school? Yes. But why can't you tell them or something else? Mm-hmm. So I was sponsoring them. I would sponsor them to go back to the okay, school. Okay, so, yeah. so you still empower them in a way. Yeah, oh yes. So was it, were you doing this just to the mothers of your children or just then any woman? Any woman I come across, she's a shareholder. Uh-huh. Yeah. Of whatever it <laughs> yes. is. Like, like, so she would take part of whatever yes, money is that yes, you're making yes, then. Yes, yes, Okay, so if you look back now mm-hmm. and you look at where you are today, mm-hmm. do you think that was worth the journey taking that you took? No, as for now, at this moment in time, I consider it to be a wasted year. Mm-hmm. I've so that's three years wasted. wasted. Why do you say wasted years? Because one, I've not achieved anything out of what I've been doing. I'm just regretting. I'm full of regrets. Uh-huh. Because if I had picked a different route, yeah. I would have been a different person. Now. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay, so that's mm-hmm. a decision that you made. So mm-hmm. are you regretting on that decision that you made? Yes, I made a long decision. Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. So what decisions have you made then? Uh, now. Uh, it is time to listen to what God is saying. Mm-hmm. I've just learned to say that a man is not of himself. A man is controlled by God. Mm-hmm. So we must all surrender our programs and our activities into the hands of God. That is when we can be able to see the way created. Mm-hmm. Without God, we are walking but in vain. Okay, so the yeah. time you were walking in that path, was God a part of it? Were you still going to church? Uh, no, I had stopped. Okay. Because you can't serve two masters at once. Uh-huh. If you have thrown yourself, the whole lot of you, into polygamy or into sexual immorality, uh-huh. you are supposed to let go of spiritual things. Uh-huh. So you can't pretend. Pretense is not good. And you can't pretend in the eyes of God. You just have to be real. Uh-huh. You just have to be real. Okay, so you decided uh-huh. this is a part yeah, that they, they Let me first hold on to spiritual things uh-huh. and uh, let me do my own. Six. Okay. Mm. So briefly, before before we now go through, I'm sure you now went mm. through uh, counseling, you mm. went through some form of healing. Mm-hmm. I want to call it spiritual healing for mm-hmm. you to get to, to where you are. Now, what are some of the paths that you took to get to where you are today? Oh, it actually takes the full grown man to mm-hmm. reflect and also make, again, a proper decision based on morals of God. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because as I stated, there's nothing that you can do without the favor of God. Mm. So now I've decided to say that I must do the will of God, only the will of God. Mm-hmm. And I've realized to say that here on earth we don't have a will. Even if we tell people to say that my will is to do this, there is no a will of a human being mm-hmm. here on earth. There is only the will of God. So my decision is to do the will of God. I know there are so many men that are watching, including women that are, that are, that are watching us now as, as we talk. What, what mm. would be your message to them, particularly for that man who's still, you know, mm. moving from one woman to the next and to the next and looking for this thing that we don't know what you men look for in women? Uh, there is one thing that I've learned during my journey. Yeah. Uh, happiness is in you. Mm-hmm. Happiness is in you. It's not in someone. Happiness is in you. If you cannot make yourself happy, no, no one will make and you that's happy. That's so powerful. So no, were no. you doing what you were doing because you were looking for happiness? Yes, for friends. Uh huh. So people to talk to, to chat with, to laugh with. Not knowing to say that you can still do that without anyone. All those things are in me. Uh. I am a complete being, the all being. Yeah. Everything is in me. So was it different with every woman? Because you're talking about looking for happiness, obviously Mm -hmm. looking for love. Mm -hmm. So was this so-called happiness Mm -hmm. different with every woman that you met? Uh, Some people, some women, you find they are in misery. They are complaining everywhere. Uh They don't even understand who they are. Uh So sometimes I even used to advise them, say, no, 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 no. You are not created to be misery. You are supposed to find your happiness. It it must be that you have left somewhere. So you must go look for it. It has just have to be planted in, but in you. Yeah. Because you cannot look happiness from other people. Yeah. They are also struggling to create their own happiness. Mm-hmm. So you, you must... You're also struggling. Yes, I'm also struggling. Yeah. You want me to make you happy. I also want you to make me happy. Yeah. So, you know, if you can't make you happy yourself, how can you be able to make... Yeah, true. You only give happy? that what you, you have. have. Exactly. If you don't have happiness, you can't share it. Yeah, yeah. You share what mm-hmm. you have. 
So, so how did you discover that truth? Because for me, that's very powerful, and, mm -hmm. and that's a truth on its own. How did you get to that place? Uh, as I continued doing it, then I started now noticing to say that this is useless. Mm -hmm. This is just a vanity of vanities. It is not reading me anywhere, but it is reading me to problems. Mm -hmm. It comes a time when you don't have the money, mm -hmm. you can't call not even any of them. Yeah. Because I don't have a program. Because it is always... You don't have the money. Oh. You can only contact them when you've got the money. Without the money, you can't contact them. So the relationship was based on money, money. versus exactly. uh, sex in exchange. Yes. So money. without money, you can't You do can't. It. What are you going to pay? Because so you're not you... marrying. You are doing it on a, a payroll. You have to pay. You do it, you pay. You mm -hmm. do it, you pay. You can't do it for free. She's not your wife. Yeah. <laughs> but you still did it for like three years. Yes. Wow. Mm. So, um, yeah, so what's your advice? I mean, we're talking about you advising, and mm -hmm. you've talked about happiness mm -hmm. being one of them. Now mm -hmm. let's talk about love. And my question to you probably on love mm -hmm. would be, what is your definition of love? Yeah, love, basically, it is actually given to man. Mm -hmm. Man is given this responsibility of loving the people, especially their women called wives. Mm -hmm. These wives... Wives or wife? Wife. <laughs> you know, we are a lot of women yeah, and yeah. a lot of wives from of different course. families. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so we are not speaking to a family, but yeah. to families. I just want to be sure oh, that yeah. now it's one man, one woman. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah. So now, if you don't love your woman, mm -hmm. then she will not submit. And there's one thing that I've learned is that uh, women, they only submit. This issue, they say, I love you too. Mm -hmm. They lie. It's lack of better terms they don't just understand. When you love a woman, their duty is to submit. When you love a woman, you ask her to bring water for she come and kneel. Why is she kneeling? She's seen love in you. She's kneeling to the love which is showing mm -hmm. in your heart, without which she can't submit. So when he, they are loved, they will still submit. That is so powerful. Oh, so yes. uh, when a woman is not loved, she will, she will not submit. She will be in misery. Is it possible to love more than one woman? To men, mm -hmm. yeah, it is possible. Hmm. But marrying, Mm -hmm. Loving you can love more than, but marry, you marry one. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go through that. So you can love many as women, as you can. but you can only settle or, on one, or on, according on, on to, one. The, uh, to the biblical standard. Oh, okay. Yes. All right. Mm. So I know that you've been off uh, relationships mm -hmm. and you are now a divorced man. Oh, yeah. You've been off for like two mm -hmm. years. Mm. Has that been easy for you? Yeah. You know, as I stated, it, it takes a man to decide yeah. what he wants. Mm. When you make a decision, then you stand on your decision, yeah. then you win. Okay. Yeah, as long as you're not hovering, or okay. maybe just moving like one to mm -hmm. and fro, not knowing where you are going. Okay. You just have to know where you want to go and where you are going and how to get there. I'm just interested in, in, in really looking in your eyes and saying, look, <laughs> coming from four minimum, you mm -hmm. told me minimum is four women mm, in a to day, zero. to zero, mm -hmm. was that easy? Yeah, it was. You know, this thing does not just come and go. Yeah. It comes gradually and also it goes mm -hmm. slowly. You, know, you just have to ask yourself to say that, why am I doing this? What am I benefiting? Yeah. What am I? Why? You know, you find that it is more on the bad side yeah. than it is good to the good side. So now you've abstained for the last two years. Mm -hmm. Now, we're meant to believe that a man cannot stay mm -hmm. for a week mm -hmm without sex. Mm -hmm. In fact, scientifically it's been proven mm -hmm. that a man will think of sex mm -hmm. 60 times in a day. Oh, okay. How have you managed for two years? Uh, when, when that age comes, yeah, when what When you, you reflect do? back, or you sit down, then you think of sex, mm -hmm. then you reflect back to the different type of women that you used to go with. Mm -hmm. Big ones with the hips, without hips, uh -huh. fat, small, tall, short. Uh -huh. Then you ask yourself to say a question to say that I'm missing this. What have I benefited from what I've been doing? Then you cancel everything. Because then the, the, the it just, just goes. goes. I said, no, it's okay. I did enough. I don't need anything anymore. I did enough. Because so I was actually, content. Mm, so what you've actually I've, done is you've suppressed your sexual feelings. Yeah, I said Is that no. possible for men that are watching us now? Yeah, you know, uh, some people, some men say that uh, I can't, you know, I'm a man enough. Men enough, they're full of control. Enough men that those who are able to control themselves. Fantastic. Yes. So it's all about control for yes, men. Yes, about control. So there you have it, men. It's control. Mm, mm. So if you're on your deathbed and you were given an opportunity to live again, mm -hmm. what are some of the things you'd do differently? 
Uh, Lily, I would really want to wake for my God from the time of birth up until to the, to the day of death. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just to put my life straight with my God, mm -hmm. period. Have you made peace with all the women that... Yeah, the good part of it mm. is that uh, I've been contacting them. You know, if you, when, they, yeah, when they call me, not all of them, you know, uh -huh. some of them. Uh -huh. I don't even know where they are. Uh, okay. You know, when they call me to say, where are you? I've really missed you. I said, yeah, I am now an evangelist. Uh -huh. If you are thinking of that program, oh, mm -hmm. please, forget it. Do you have any plans of getting married? Uh, Settling down with more... Children. But the number one thing that I really want is to unite with my God. If I need to get married, it has to come from the program of God. Yeah. I don't want to do it on my own. Because my time of doing it on my own, it is now past. Now it's cost time. Wow, that is so powerful. Mm -hmm. So if you're joining us now, and I think we're winding up now, do you have final remarks before we wind up? What is your truth? Yeah, I have been actually hearing people to say that, uh, you know, I'm doing this because my wife has done that. I'm doing this because my husband. There's nothing because of what. It's because of yourself. Don't mm. blame your wife. Don't blame your husband. Don't blame your children. Blame yourself because of the long decisions that you've made. Mm. Mm. That is so mm -hmm. powerful. Mm -hmm. This is Ignite with Mwangala. That's all we do. Mm -hmm. We ignite in people's lives. And I, yeah. I like your story because I know that you've given some answers to people that are wondering to say, but why is it that today I have this woman, mm -hmm. the other day I'm with that other woman, mm -hmm. uh, vice versa for, for, for men also, why, for women also. Why is it that today I'm looking into that man, mm -hmm. I want to have another man? Ultimately, I think we are one people. Oh, There's yes. no difference. From what I'm picking from mm -hmm. your story is that mm -hmm. women are the same. Oh, yeah. There is no difference mm -hmm. whatsoever. Mm -hmm. We are all the same. Mm -hmm. What matters is what decision that you make oh, and yes. what you would like to see happen mm -hmm. in your life. Oh, yeah. Remember to make every day count because that's what we are here for. Mm -hmm. This has been mm -hmm. Mwangala Chakalashi Santos and saying thank you very much to Mr. Remos Kazoka for sharing with us your story and for uh, igniting and for oh, yes. teaching. No. It's been a pleasure having you on my show. Thank you. Thank, thank you so much. Thank Bye. You. Yeah.